I'm confused. About? We've been talking about me leading this project next year for weeks now. So I put it in as a goal. And then I get this email that says, goal returned. Do you not want me to lead it now? No, 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 that's not it. I still want you to lead the project. We need for you to lead this project. We won't make any of our team goals if you don't. What's wrong with my goal? Look, there's nothing wrong with your goal. It's just that, well, it needs something. What? You know, it's not just a project that you're leading. You're leading people too. Yeah? People who need to do something a little differently than the way they're doing it now, if this is going to succeed. And? And to help them do that, you're going to have to do something differently. I'm still confused. How long have we worked together? Long time. You were here when I got here. That I was. Do you remember when we first met? It was your first day. Boy, were you lost. Oh, excuse me, I'm trying to find the cafeteria. Oh, first day, huh? Yeah. Mm, nice to meet you, Mel. Mm -hmm. Cafeteria's in building 12, pod six. Pod six. Now don't go in the big glass doors. Use the employee entrance. Employee entrance. Mm -hmm. And then walk straight past R&D and make a left at MIS. Go right, uh, pass HR and make another left when you see a sign for SNR on your right. Left, and then you say go right. Now sometimes uh, that hallway's blocked in SNR, so uh, when that happens, your best bet is just to cut through SES. They, they won't mind. They won't? No, you could set a bomb off in there and they wouldn't know it. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> and then on the other side of SES, you're gonna walk past MSG and GSD, and there you'll be. Where? Well, at the cafeteria. Ugh, it's easy. Have a great lunch. <laughs> What's your point? The point is, leading this project is going to challenge you. Sure, but it's nothing I can't handle. I know the technology, the processes, and the procedures better than anyone in my humble opinion. I know you do, but that's not the challenge I'm talking about. What is it then? You need to communicate better. Communicate better? I think I communicate pretty well, I mean, most of the time, in my humble opinion. <sighs> yeah, but. I know what a bad communicator looks like. Oh, you do? My old boss, Al. Oh, tell me about Al. We had this big customer, and I was in charge of handling them. I'm really worried about this rush order from Swinehart. Huh? Rush order from Swinehart? Oh, excuse me. Al speaking. No, I don't know where it is. I have looked for it. Well, can't you remember it? Well, I can't remember it. Look, I'll keep looking. I have to go. Goodbye. <sighs> okay, now, uh, about the rush order from um, Pigheart. Swineheart. Yeah, Swineheart, right. <sighs> okay, uh, we, something's gotta give. You know, we're backed up as it is. And so I have an idea that... Yeah, yeah, look, look, here's what you do. First, I want you to call... Al speaking. Well, of course I looked there. That's the first place I looked. Look, I'll call you when it turns up. I have to go. G goodbye. Maybe I should stop that later. No, no, no. Sit, sit. We have to figure out this whole swine hog mess. Okay. So, how about if we go to double shifts for a week? Now, I know it's going to cost more in overtime, but Swinehart's a big customer. That's I... it! Well, great. That's great. Great. I, I, I did some overtime. I worked up some overtime projections, so... I found it. 
And it well, of course I found it. I have it right here. I'll prove it to you. A dozen eggs, kitty litter, pound of salami. See, see, I told you it would turn up. I'll stop at the store on the way home, honey. Yes, I love you too. Bye-bye. Ah. Whew. Okay. Uh, now, back to this whole uh, swine herd problem. Swine heart. Right. Um, <laughs> do whatever you think is best. Only run it by me first. You're not that bad on your worst day. <laughs> Thanks. You know what? You are much better communicator than your old boss. Again, I say thanks. You don't ignore people or blow them off. You just know more and think faster than they do. I do. You said yourself that you know the technology, the processes, the procedure better than anyone. In my humble opinion. You process information like a computer. And I think that you think that everybody is like you. Maybe I do. Sometimes I do wonder why people don't just get it. Because sometimes they don't. Well, to be honest, I wish I could do this project on my own. But you can't. It's too big. The deadline is too close. On this project, bringing people along, making sure they do get it, is just as important as all of your knowledge. How do I do that? You learn. How to communicate. It's a process. And both of us know that you are a superstar when it comes to processes. There's just one more thing you have to learn. So what do I do? Take an online class or something? I think you need, no. You deserve more than that. What is it that I deserve exactly? Well, I'm no learning expert, but I did go to the training people in HR. HR? Why do we need to get them involved? It's nothing bad. <sighs> Says you. Look, I don't want to throw a couple of generic courses at you and hope for the best. That's just not fair. What is then? A coach. Wait, a what? A communications coach. Someone that can help you figure out exactly how to be an effective communicator and then help you learn how to do it. Have you ever had a coach? Hmm. Not since I played basketball in eighth grade. Oh, were you any good? I missed a WNBA contract by this much. Hmm, was your coach any good? I know you'll find this hard to believe, but I'm not a naturally gifted athlete. No. I was tall for my age. That's the only reason I made the team. Anyway, my coach, Mrs. Kellerman, spent hours working on my jump shot. Did it pay off? Like I said, missed a WNBA contract by, by this, this much. much. <laughs> so it's been a few years, but you know how valuable a coach can be. A good one can help you achieve things that you couldn't do on your own. Well, I hope I get a good one then. Well, he's highly recommended. How much time is this going to take? I mean, like you said, the deadline is coming up fast and I've got a bunch of other stuff on my plate that I've got to take care of before I dive into this. How about I take a few of those things off your plate? Ooh, like what? I don't know exactly, but well, we can talk about it. But you have my word. I will make sure you have enough time to develop the communication skills that you need. You do that. This project is important. You are important. We can't do anything around here without you. Well, if you put it that way. So, your ad working with the coach to your goal then? If I can master a jump shot, I can do anything. Quite a year. That's one way to put it. And we couldn't have gotten through it if it wasn't for you. Well, the strongest steel is tempered in the hottest fire. Mm, well said. My father used to tell me that whenever I complained about something. Like, 
homework or chores or a job or anything I had to do that I didn't want to do. Whether you wanted to or not, you led your team through a tough project and established our credibility with customers. Well, with one customer anyway. Our biggest customer. Mm, just doing my job. It takes more than you just doing your job to get a letter sent to the board of directors about the extraordinary service you provided. That was nice. It's customer service like that that helped you exceed your business development target by 15%. Hmm. I did knock it out of the park, didn't I? I thought you said you were a basketball player. It's a metaphor. Well, anyway, we need to look at our team goals for the year and the ratings. Now, your first goal was a team goal that helps support And finally, that brings us to your stretch goal. It was a stretch, all right. To work with a coach to improve your communication skills measured by feedback from members of your project team. And how did you rate me on that one? Successful. Successful? Of course, you made real progress. I did, and I worked my tail off. <laughs> I know. On top of everything else I had to do. Well, that's why it's a stretch goal. And all I was was successful? I know you rated yourself exceptional. Because I worked exceptionally hard, I mean, in my humble opinion. Hmm. Tell me more about that. Okay, well, so I got the message. Mm -hmm. People said I talked too fast, I assumed too much, and I didn't listen. So when you asked me to work with a coach to get better at all that stuff, I agreed. Well, I know it wasn't easy for you to commit to that. No, it wasn't, but I did even though I didn't know where I was gonna find the time. I did take some things off your plate. You did, but for every one thing you took off, I got two put back on. Well, there were a lot of demands that I did not anticipate. But the feedback was positive, right? Right. So what's the problem? There is no problem. I asked you to work with a coach to help in your communication skills, and you did that, and you improved. Well, that sounds pretty exceptional to me. You did exactly what you committed to do, and the feedback that you got from your team proves it. You slowed down when you spoke, you checked for understanding, and people felt like they were heard. You were successful. So what would it have taken to get an exceptional rating? Exceeding every expectation. Listening like a detective. Explaining things like the world's greatest teacher. Doing for communication, which you did for business development. That sounds more like unreasonable than exceptional. I know how hard you worked, and your effort was exceptional. But rightly or wrongly, we rate results, not effort. Well, I think we should, in my humble opinion. A lot of people would agree with you on that. And now it's your turn. To do what? To give me feedback. Uh, about? About how I supported you this year. Oh. In other words, what could I start doing, stop doing, continue doing to become a better boss? Start doing, stop doing, or continue doing? Look, just, just think about it, and then you can get back with me when you want. No, 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 I have a start, start, stop thing. Okay, so, you work well under pressure, but I don't, you know? I think so. Tell me more. It, it puts a lot of stress on me and on all of us when you leave the projects to the last minute. That did happen a few times this year. And you're right about the pressure thing. I was always pulling all-nighters in college. Yeah, and I had my final paper done before the midterm. One time, I told you to remember that not everybody is like you. <laughs> I need to take my own advice. Uh, can we figure out a way to start Project Sooner? We can. Let's talk about it when we finalize our new goals. What else you have for me? Oh, I have a continue doing, too. So I really appreciate the fact that you're always straight with me. You tell me what I need to hear, not necessarily what I want to hear. Thank you. 
And thank you for hanging in there with me when things got tough. I hope you know how much we rely on you. I guess I do. It's always nice to hear.